Hey YouTube, it's Sex Pork on Bad, and well, as promised, here is my Halloween special. So today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to turn yourself into a zombie using Photoshop. Now, a couple of things that you're going to need before we get started. Now, these two things are mandatory and very important to um, creating this effect. So the first thing is a skull. The link to this image will be in the video description, but just in case you don't like this skull, you could just Google skull in um, Google Images and you could choose the one you want. The next thing is this, I like to call it, uh, let's say, a uh, desert floor textile. And it's just a bunch of cracks all over the place. And um, the link to this image will also be in the video description. So um, these next stuff, or these, those two things are pretty mandatory and pretty important to this tutorial. But also a couple of brush sets that I like to point out, they could help with this effect, but um, uh, it's not mandatory to use these, but they could just help with the effect. So one is a cuts and cracks brush. Another one is sores brush, it gives you sores. Another one is vines brush or veins and a blood splatter brush. Now these could really help add to your effect. So going back to Photoshop, let's get started. So the first thing you wanna do, this is pretty much the important thing that you're gonna do to add to this effect, is add a skull to the person's face. So you wanna take the skull and just drag it onto her face or your face or whatever. So next you wanna hold Control T to enter free transform mode and also you want to bring the fill down to about 20% just so you could see the image be, uh, behind it and you want to match up the eye sockets with the eye sockets of the person the nose with the nose of the person and the mouth with the mouth of the person now while I do this I'm just gonna tell you guys again as I do in every tutorial that um, you ca I can't really show you guys how to turn yourselves into a zombie now this takes quite a bit of imagination and skill and I'm going to teach you a couple of good things that you could do to help add to this effect. But really, you're just going to need to use your imagination with this one. And also keep in mind that everything that I'm showing you guys today is not mandatory. You don't need to do it. It's just um, how you want your image to look. So after you have all those lined up together, you want to bring the fill and the opacity back up to 100. Next, you want to double click on the background layer just to make it a normal type of layer and then duplicate it. So right click on the layer and click on duplicate layer. Press OK to whatever pops up. You want to take the duplicate layer and drag it over the skull layer. So now it just looks like we're back to the normal image. But really we got the skull layer underneath it and then the main image layer underneath that. So next you want to add a layer mask to this layer. Now if you, go, if you look in the layers panel and you look at this little button right here, if you hover over it, it's going to say add layer mask. So you want to click on that and obviously it's going to do what it says. It's going to add a layer mask. So next you want to make sure you have a black color selected and that you have your brush tool selected. Now what I like to do, what brush I like to do, uh, I like to use for this is you want to click right here to open the tool preset picker and click on the airbrush soft round 50% flow brush. Now I like to use that brush for this effect a lot because it gives it a really feathered look and it doesn't just make it all sharp and stuff. So next, as you saw in the before and after picture, before this tutorial started, part of her face was a skull. So you want to choose that part of her face and just start coloring it in. And as you can see, wherever you put your brush, the, um, the, the zombie or the skull comes up right behind it. So I'm going to choose the left side of her face and just color it in. And as you can see, the skull comes up right behind it. And once you chose everywhere that you want the skull to be, and um, just leave it alone once you have chose everywhere that you want the skull to be. So next, you want to go to this, um, the desert floor textile, or I'll just call it a bunch of cracks. And you want to drag that onto the image. Now you want to make sure it's big enough to cover the person's face. So next you want to change the blending options to, uh, let's say, linear burn. And then you want to erase everywhere that's not on her face. So for example, in the background, you want to erase that because obviously you want the, the, the thing to be on her face. 
and I'm just gonna do it, uh, erase a little bit of, of it on her face just to give it, because it's just too dark. And yeah, that looks pretty good. Next, I'm gonna zoom in on her eye and do a couple stuff to her eye. So first, I wanna change her eye color. So I'm gonna hold Control Shift N and create a new layer. So next, I'm gonna choose the brush tool and choose a dark red color and just color in everywhere that I want to be red. So make it a little bigger and I'm just gonna color in everywhere of her eye that I want to be that reddish color. So I'm just going to do this really quick, but obviously you want to spend more time on it to get a greater effect. So next you want to change the blending type to overlay. And now it's going to look like your eye color is red. So once you do that, I want to choose a white color <clears throat> and color in every part of our eye that's supposed to be white. I want to just color it in white again, just to make it pop out even more. So once you got that colored in, I'm going to add some eyeliner. I'd like to call it Photoshop eyeliner. So how to do that is if you choose this tool right here, it's going to give you three options. If you click and hold on it, it's going to give you the dodge tool, the burn tool, and the sponge tool. We're going to be using the sponge tool right after this, but for now, we're going to choose the burn tool. So next, you just want to start burning everywhere that you want the eyeliner to be. And also make sure that you have the main image layer selected or else it won't work. So just keep going around everywhere that you want the eyeliner to be. And keep in mind, the longer you keep it in one place, the more it's gonna affect it. So once you got that, you want, I'm just gonna zoom out. <clears throat> so next, as promised, as I told you guys, I'm gonna choose the sponge tool. So what this tool does is it gives it a palish color. So it's gonna give her skin a pale color and I think it just matches with the zombie theme. So if you just go over her skin, you could already start to see that it's giving her skin a pale color. So after you have done that, I want to make the image a little darker. So I'm going to click on image and click on adjustments and click on uh, brightness slash contrast. I'm going to bring the brightness down and the contrast down a little. And it just matters on what you want it to look like. All right, so that's looking pretty good. All right, so once you're done, just press OK. So in the end, you should get an effect that looks like this. And remember, just use your imagination with it. And it just really is how you want it to look. And make sure to use your those four brushes. The links will be in the video description. It could help you create a very a better effect. And it could create help you create a greater effect. So, and that's pretty much it. In the end, you should come up looking something like this. And just mess around with it and you could come up with a better effect and a greater effect but this is just the basics so um until the next tutorial i'll see you guys later